fact it is july no it's august 2nd maybe i think it's august though and uh, i think i'm going to open the store again pretty soon oh no <laughs> and by soon i mean tomorrow i'm pretty nervous about it but uh, got to be done i have promised i have everything set up and uh, why not? I have a couple of free days this week that I have scheduled specifically for doing packing and shipping stuff. So better use them before I chicken out and just say, nope, I'm not doing it. <laughs> There's no reason to be nervous. Everything worked out well last time and uh, I'm sure it will this time too. But before I do that, um, the studio ends up being a horrible disaster again with all the work going on let's look at uh, how things are looking because uh, i think last time i showed you guys in the last video i had two shelves done kinda not even done i just had like them kind of sitting there but uh, this is now the shipping station as it's looking i have uh, one shelf where i'm gonna have miscellaneous uh, stuff like stickers and, uh, I don't know, prints and stuff eventually, maybe. And uh, over here is gonna be all of my pre-packaged books. All of these are just simple one-book packages, because it's what most people buy. And over here I'm gonna have my sign books. I have these many pre-packaged, and I have none which sketched things in them. I haven't pre-sketched anything. I should, but I haven't had the energy to do that. I'll sketch them as I need to. And over here is uh, my label printer, my uh, regular laser black and white printer for like customs labels uh, or forms. I have not set it up yet. I dread doing it <laughs> because I always have trouble setting up printers. I hope that it will work out for <laughs> because I need them for anyone who buys from like Norway or outside of the EU and uh, if it doesn't work I'll use in a worst case scenario print at home you know with my regular home printer but that's that I have my or I need um, for this thingy I need like a hook or something that it can sit on like a toilet roll keeper or something so that they can dangle there and I can take my closer stickers when I need them. Right now it's just constantly falling off the table as it rolls around. And here I have like uh, random packing materials is sitting there. Um, and under here I have my envelopes and uh, cardboard boxes. See, and that is the packing station. I still have a lot of like organizing and <laughs> figuring out where to eventually put all of my things but those are things that I figure out as I do uh, work because I realize like oh I really need this thing to be somewhere I can reach it really easily or I hate how this is in the way all the time and stuff like that so one thing at a time and uh, as you can see I've kind of cleaned a little bit everything isn't on the floor anymore <laughs> and it looks Pretty nice. It's a nice place to come and work. Mm. A beautiful wall of heirlooms. Still a lot to do. I Once it's winter and I don't want to do like shipping and packing stuff, I know I'm going to want to do a lot of decorating again. So I'm really excited for that. But I don't really think I'm going to do any decoration. Uh, before winter time. Too much work. But, uh, oh, also, uh, minor detail, but uh, I made this wall a little bit shorter because back here I had. Uh, uh, go away, my thingy. Um, hard to show, but I had like two full length uh, shelves. But now this one is. Uh, hold on, can I find a bit of angle? Up here maybe. Yeah, so this shelf is really long and this one is half width. 
half sized, half width. So I switched out the longer one to a shorter one. So now it's about, it used to be to like here, the wall, and now it's a bit shorter and it makes it a little bit more open, the whole space. And I like that a lot. And I moved the full length shelf to be one of these. So yeah, that's the overview. And now I'm gonna go home and finish a comic page. And tomorrow I will open the shop. It is update time. I'm sitting here with a fly sweater because there is a fly that is driving me crazy and I can't get it killed. But the actual update is I just reopened my store. <sighs> Alright, it's go time again. This time to a bunch more countries. I had to spend the last hour setting up the shipping options for all of them. Took a surprisingly long time to do <laughs> because I have to check uh, through a shipping website what the shipping costs for every country before I can actually set them up so it's like each one I have to put in a fake zip code and you know pretend that I'm sending something there and put in the size of the package and everything Ugh, such an annoying process but uh, because some countries in Europe are like uh, uh, 15 euros to ship to and then other countries uh, are like 35 euros to ship to so it's a pretty big difference depending on if the shipping routes are broken or not from Finland and you never know which one is the one that has uh, might have like an additional 20 euro fee just to ship to them but yeah that is now done it is now um, open and um, nobody knows about it yet so I don't think I'm gonna get any sales just yet I need to write my newsletter and send it out and uh, we'll see if I get any orders during the day all right I'll... There it is. no it's too it's too hyperactive it notices the moment I try to kill it and now it's right there it's see it it smells me and it knows I'm nearby so it keeps buzzing around me. Now I missed it. Now I missed it again. <laughs> I'll see you later. Alright, the newsletter is being done. I guess I dare to send it. I think it should be good. I always copy it from a template for the comic chapter updates and I'm always worried that I like leave a weird snippet to a random link to a random page that confuses people <laughs> but it seems like I've changed everything I should yeah let's uh, let's send this off it is sent yes I use MailChimp working out well I had more subscribers than I remembered. Almost 5,000. Want updates from me? Makes me very happy. Ah, look at that. That's not orders yet. It's uh, people have added uh, stuff to their shopping carts. Oh, that's exciting. I just sent the newsletter out just a few minutes ago. So people are using it. All right, I need to go eat breakfast now. I have uh, not done that yet. Status update time. It is now evening, the same day, and I have gone done my errands, and uh, I have now come to the studios to start doing some packing, and I have gotten 48 orders, I think, which is a lot for just sending out the newsletter, and I am very pleasantly surprised. I think tomorrow, like I'm gonna leave it for one day as the exclusivity time for newsletter people to sign up or go check it out and then tomorrow i will post it on regular uh, social media and then on, on the comic website that people can buy the book but uh, for now let's just start doing 
48 book packages. I mean, I have a lot pre-made, but uh, I have none of the sketchbooks, so I need to do a lot of those. I think out of the 48, like 15, I think, were sketched ones. Fell right on the last one. But, um, a bunch of those then. I'm gonna continue stuffing books into the mouth. I had a little bit of a scare actually when I looked at my support email for the for the store when I came back from errands earlier, checking if uh, anyone had any problems. And I had like seven emails where everyone's subject line was like I can't pay, payment processor doesn't let me choose payment method and stuff like that and I got really scared that once again I had messed up something with the payment processor or rather that the payment processor was offline again and um, thankfully I immediately noticed that everyone uh, that had sent the mail like that seem to have a very Norwegian looking uh, name and uh, that led me to the right uh, track to figure out what was wrong because uh, Norway is the country outside of Europe, not Europe, EU, <laughs> but within Europe that I'm shipping to in this, uh, this batch and uh, thankfully I was easily able to find that I had indeed not enabled any kind of payment method for people outside the EU and uh, that was an easy fix. It was really weird though because the payment method enabling was under the shipping options which is kind of weird like you were seeing that they're separate things like you have your shipping setup and then you have your payment setup and it's not like linked but in the web, web shop service I'm using, it's for some reason all under shipping. So if you set up like a shipping options for a letter domestically, then you have to like enable which payment methods you want for that shipping option and like paying everything with it. And then if you set up another option for a package to other countries, then you once again have to enable payment methods and it's like I don't get it, like it must have a reason, like it ha must have something to do with how people who have really big online stores do it, like maybe it's a fraud protection kind of thing, like, I don't know, maybe, hmm, let's think about it a bit, a bit. maybe if um, somebody tried to buy like a pallet full of books for some reason then i would have the option to be like oh i don't want anyone who buys a pallet worth of books to be able to pay with uh, i don't know something risky like a credit card or paypal and maybe i only want to allow like direct bank transfer or something and then if someone buys something with that fits in a letter then i can put like okay everything all payment methods are okay like it must be something like that just a fraud protection thingy but it was really weird and I'm a little bit annoyed at it because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna forget to do that in the future when I set up uh, shipping methods for more countries at least now I know that that's a problem that can happen and I can be on the look for it and I know immediately what the problem is if people have that in the future but yeah that was the scare of the day but it seems to be fine. Hi guys, it's uh, home Minna here. The next morning, well it's not really morning, at like 6 in the afternoon. I just ate breakfast though because it has been a very busy, busy many hours, lots of work this morning. Um, what did I do? Number one, I ran out of milk, so I had to walk to the grocery store right uh, right when I woke up because I cannot eat breakfast without milk 
and after that I did not eat breakfast I started doing work I needed to um, announce on social media that the store is open since it's been nowadays since the newsletter people have been able to buy a book by the way it was 70 books were sold whoa my nails are super dirty because the second thing I did was I went out in the yard <laughs> and I did some gardening um, because it is August now it's like August 4th I think and um, August in Finnish is Eloku which is short for Elonkorjukukausi which literally means harvest moon which means it's time to harvest my potatoes and I had to go out and uh, cut off the leaves or the stems of the potatoes so that they have a couple weeks to harden up before it's time to lift them up and see how they how they have become and yeah I just did some miscellaneous gardening tasks for maybe half an hour and therefore yeah, therefore I have mulch under my nails <laughs> but that was the third thing um, social media um, gardening then I had to answer a bunch of emails from people having questions about the store opening book and everything and then I had to oh my publisher got back to me they actually let me know that they have almost finished the Kickstarter page for book three so that's getting pretty close like I got back to them with a suggestion for launch date like they were asking me for uh, opinions on that and uh, we'll see maybe maybe in a few days we'll have a launch date actually set it's gonna be this month though it seems and they only have a few things left to do and yeah that's gonna be very exciting that was kind of a um, interesting addition to this morning that kind of got them my adrenaline up a little bit thinking that that's gonna be happening pretty soon uh, what else? Um, this arrived in the mail. This is... Um, well, let's open it. <laughs> I covered my address, but it's from Sticker App. I have uh, ordered for the future. Oh, let's see if they actually turn out well. Oh, they did turn out well. Do they show up well? Whoa! <laughs> The tripod is not the best. Hold on, let's make it not fall over. Um, yeah, let's see if you guys can see what they look like. So I've ordered this cool little um, uh, metallic detail stickers because I just kind of want to try out if they would turn out nice. Little humming fluff stickers for the future. I want to make like a cute set. And I wanted to just order a small batch of one of them to see if it would work out. The little, the little um, metallic finish on the on the apple, and it did. I like it a lot. It's like uh, half printed uh, red, so it has some color to it, but it's also super shiny. Mm. Oops, don't do shimmering. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's really cute, I like it. Okay, this was a success. Um, I don't have any <laughs> immediate plans for selling this yet. This was like a test. But now I'm super happy. I was worried that it wouldn't turn out the way I thought. Like uh, looking like this, because I've never done cool stickers before. I've only printed like the regular um, like the ceiling stickers, the round ones and uh, the book place stickers. So you know the plainest of plain. So this was a fun test. If they had turned out bad I would have just given away them as freebies for people. But yeah I think I'm gonna finish the set. I have a couple of other cute ones that I want to draw with the apple the humming fluff eating it and sleeping after eating the sticker and stuff like that not the sticker the apple and uh, yeah i want to make like a little mini set and 
seldom in the future. Not yet though. I will have to think about how I do that and when and where and everything. But uh, this was a fun addition to the morning and I'm very pleased. They're sent from Denmark? I thought sticker up was in Sweden. Like the last thing I ordered from them which was uh, some of the ceiling stickers. They were sent from Sweden. And I'm pretty sure Sticker Up is a Swedish company. Hmm. Maybe they have a second printing facility in Denmark and they do the shiny ones over there. Completely uninteresting detail, but I found it interesting. I'm always curious about little details like that. Like what the what's the setup with this uh, company? Why do they have printing facilities in different parts of the uh, the Nordics. <laughs> Keith, that's thirty five shipping labels quite well to print but um, I'm printing them in like batches I sort them into lists of uh, people who have ordered the same exact thing so this is a bunch of plain book only orders so now I can just slap them on these thingies and I don't have like check each one to see what they ordered I've already done that so now it's like uh, just do the same thing for each of one each one of them and uh, I make less mistakes that way. I don't like give the wrong thing to the wrong person. But uh, yeah, that went really easily. Well, there was one on the list that I have a problem with. Um, it said that it can't make a shipping label because it can't. It doesn't have enough information to calculate prices, and it was um, shipment to Latvia. So now I have to check what's wrong with that one. If, the, if there is a problem with shipping to Latvia or if there is just a problem with the shipping label buying place or if there is a problem with the address. Either way, I might have to manually buy shipping for it. Worst case scenario, I just go to the post office and pay for it over there. But uh, all the other ones, 35, were fine. And now I'm gonna put them on the boxes and then continue on with the next set of uh, packages. It is uh, midnight and I am super tired and this is the packages that I got done today and I will put in my car to take to the post office tomorrow or rather visit the post. Oh, I hate that flickering. It does it when there's... I don't know when. Can I do something to get rid of it? Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go visit the whatever center tomorrow. But uh, the piles over here are... Uh, over there. Finland. Then we have Sweden. Uh, Denmark. The big one is Germany. And even the ones behind there, the big boxes. All going to Germany. Uh, the three back there are to Norway. I had a lot more order from Norway, but they all need uh, crazy customs stuff and uh, take, they take ages and I need to look into it if there's a automated way for me to fill in customs forms because right now I'm just copy pasting stuff into a form from the order page and uh, it takes quite a lot of time. So I only did three. I have like 10 more waiting and uh, I'll do them tomorrow maybe. Um, this pile is the Netherlands. Surprisingly many from the Netherlands. I wonder if there's like a click of people reading the comic because one of these two is from Belgium and uh, I thought like the Netherlands and the Belgium are kind of the same size countries. So there's definitely a big uh, discrepancy in the uh, how many? <laughs> and uh, one to Latvia. And uh, I think I mentioned that I had a problem with the shipping label for the Latvia one, but turned out that I just needed to 
changed the way the zip code was formatted and it would accept it and print out everything correctly. So that's it. I have not counted these. I think it's like, I don't know, around 80 or something. I'll go to bed. Post office tomorrow. So it's uh, me again over here. And it's the next day. It's the 5th of August, I think. This morning I was supposed to take uh, all of the first packages to the post office. You might wonder how did that go? And the answer is, it did not go at all. <laughs> I managed to somehow drive around for two hours, yet I never made it to the post office. Good job me. <laughs> I will make a new effort tomorrow. So basically what happened was uh, there's two different uh, like business post office places where you're allowed to drop off prepaid packages as a business that are like an hour from me. Those are the closest ones. And uh, I decided that I would pick the one that's located in a town called Jemse. I figured I've never been there and uh, I know that on the way there, pretty close by, is a nature trail that I would like to try out. And I figured, how about I drive over there, drop off the packages and uh, then on the way home I stop by the nature trail. So that's what I decided to do and I jumped in the car and I started driving in the general direction until I came to the first crossroads and I looked at the signage and uh, looking for the town I'm going to, Jemse and I saw on the signage a town named Susme and uh, my brain went, oh that's where I'm going, I'm going to Susme no, not Susme, I'm su supposed to go to Jemse Susme, Jemse but there was no there was no Yemsa on the signs. Only Sisme and a bunch of uh, other random towns that I have no idea where they are. Like Koivuvuari or something random like that. And my brain made the jump um, thinking that Sisme was the place I was going. <laughs> because it's close enough, you know. Yemsa, Sisme. And uh, I just set off driving. And the road there was supposed to be like a winding forest road with like lakes all around and uh, farms and stuff. And that's the kind of road I was driving. So I didn't really think anything of it until a really long time had passed. And uh, eventually I got to a sign where it said like for the first time the amount of kilometers left to Sysma. And it was like 20 kilometers or something. And I looked at my, like at the clock. Oops. And they were like, wait, I feel like I've been driving for an hour now. And I should be there already. Have I really miscalculated how long it will take me to drive there this badly? That there's still like 20 kilometers left? And uh, I figured I need to pull over somewhere and uh, look at the map. But I started realizing what had happened because I started thinking about it. Trying to find like a side road or something where I could uh, stop. Uh, the name Yems has started to pop, on, pop up in the back of my mind. And yeah, I realized that I have been driving for an hour towards the wrong town and I was kind of hoping that when I pull over and look at the map that it would tell me that maybe I'm like kind of close by or something <laughs> like the towns would be like next to each other but no, it was literally the complete opposite direction or technically they were kind of close by the towns but on completely different sides of Lake Bayerne which is a gigantic lake in central Finland that just cleaves the land in two and it's kind of like a narrow long lake with lots of really beautiful scenery around it very high uh, 
bottom items. But yeah, I was on the wrong side of it, and the only way to get to the other side, because there's really no, there's no breaches or uh, the only way to get back <laughs> was literally to drive all the way to the beginning and start over. So at this point, I've been driving for an hour, but it was now a two-hour drive to the post office, and uh, it was two in the afternoon. And the post office closes at 4, which means I was going to just do the 2 hour drive there and just suck it up and uh, yeah, suffer it, but uh, I wouldn't even have made it in time if I had turned around right there and then, so I, I could only drive back home. It was a complete waste of driving, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, it was... Um, I don't know, I'm taking it as like driving practice and uh, a sightseeing tour because the road to Sisma was really beautiful. It was like a scenic, scenic route around all of the hilltops and uh, all the lake views. So it was very pretty and the weather was nice. And another thing that actually made it uh, worthwhile, which made me not mad about it, is that I discovered that there is a another nature trail that I didn't know about. Uh, in that direction, and uh, it's not a unreasonable length or distance from where I live, maybe like a 40 minute drive, uh, which is fine for me, and I think I'm gonna go check it out later this week instead of the other one in the other direction I was going. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, tomorrow I'm gonna try again, go to the post office <laughs> in the right direction this time, uh, drop off all of the packages that I already made and everything that I'm making today, which is another like uh, 50 I think I have to pack today, and um, then um, oh, I think it's gonna be bad weather tomorrow, maybe I won't go check the nature trail out tomorrow, but maybe on, like Friday I'll just, just I want to go see what it looks like, so yeah that's, <laughs> that's what happened. Uh, my sad day, I've just been working after it, but um, yeah, I guess I will update you guys tomorrow. Yeah, it's past midnight again. I am super tired. That's another 50 or so orders, and that's all all the orders that have come in so far and honestly uh, I'm so tired I might not uh, I might just consider closing the shop again but okay so here's my thoughts I'm super duper tired and I've only announced the shop opening on the newsletter Twitter and Facebook I was going to this evening now that I go home and uh, post the next um, page of the comic. I was going to announce it there and see if another hundred people will want to snag a book. But uh, yeah, now I'm kind of like doubting it. Maybe this is my limit. 140 books per time. And um, like I know a lot of people just follow the comic and don't aren't subscribed to me anywhere else. So they don't even know that I've been doing these store openings, so it's kinda mean not to give them a chance, but on the other hand, mm, okay, I might just be really grumpy because I'm tired this evening, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna announce the, that the shop is open to anyone more, but I will keep it open over the weekend, you know, have a couple of trickle-in orders. Like today, I've only gotten like three in the last 10 hours or so. So it's definitely people who wanted to get one from those social media platforms have already grabbed one. So I doubt I'm gonna get like more than a dozen over the weekend and stuff, which I can handle. And... Uh, if I'm in a better mood and full of energy again, then I might do another hundred and uh, let people know about it. If I don't and I feel like blah about it again, uh, then I will just close it down and um, 
open it up again in a couple of months like I did last time so yeah that's the plan but uh, now I'm gonna need to put this in the car and uh, try to go to the post office tomorrow with all the other packages but um, let's check which uh, countries we got them stuff to big pile in the back is Finland this pile over here uh, is Norway all oh, those custom labels they took so long to do <laughs> but they got to be done uh, two packages to Iceland then we have Sweden Denmark big pile to Germany <laughs> then I think we have uh, uh, Netherlands oh actually I have a few over here also um, here we have three more to mm, Germany and one to let's not show the address um one to belgium and these two are to our netherlands and one to poland there we go i think now for the opening we have had orders or i have had orders from every one of the countries except lithuania because latvia poland um have both had one Belgium has had two, Iceland has had two, so yeah, that's every country. But yeah, I am done, and uh, I will let you guys know what I decide with the rest of the shop opening later. It is uh, update time. I am at the Posti Business Center. I didn't do the different one instead, but uh, yeah, this one's really easy. I have dropped off all of the packages and just put them in a uh, whatever you call them, a rollako. so that's like the big cage with uh, wheels on it and wheel it indoors and uh, the people taking them from me were super helpful and kind and one of them came out to check on me that uh, the load isn't too heavy for me to push but it was completely fine, didn't need help with that and uh, yeah, 130 packages or something dropped off and uh, that's it now to drive home hi guys it is editing Minna here closing out uh, this week's video and uh, enjoy the sketch in the background i might record it like the actual painting of it later on for another video it's just the illustration i want to want to do but uh, i figured i would record a sketching process or at least a rough layout sketch for the end of this video so updates um i ended up closing the store as i said i might so i have only about 22 ish orders left to do because the thing is uh, we ended up setting a date with my publisher for the kickstarter for the book um, you know the international release and everything so even though I don't have to run the Kickstarter itself, my publisher does that and they do the printing and shipping out of the book and everything. Um, the month that it's running, which is coming very soon, is, um, is still pretty intense from what I remember. I have to do a lot of promoting and uh, answering questions and everything. You know, the usual stuff you have to do to have a successful Kickstarter. Um, yeah, I figured I don't want to completely exhaust myself right before it by doing another 100 books. I need to kind of put my brain into order and be prepared to do that properly. So that's where we are at right now. I'm a little bit nervous for it and everything, but uh, I'm sure it will be going good enough. So yeah, I think that's all for this week. I. I will probably record the like the beginning of the Kickstarter and stuff that's going on while it's being launched. Um, that might be interesting to watch for a vlog, you know, the Kickstarter starting process. Yeah, um, anyway, I don't have anything else to update you on, I think. I hope you enjoyed this little mini sketch. and. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. And if you have not read my comic, read my comic, read my comic, uh, do read it. It's my thing that I do. It's my work. It's my life currently, I suppose. 
and it's what all of my art is for and uh, what the Kickstarter is for and everything. It's a webcomic, it's free to read over on its own website sssscomic.com It's a fun post-apocalyptic adventure with uh, like a Nordic spin to it and uh, see you guys next time. Bye bye!